In this video, we will go over some basic functions and features of your Yaling phone. This will include making and receiving calls, transferring calls, and voicemail access. For demonstration, we will be using a Yaling T42S. To start off, let us go over the display and buttons for your device. Your device is equipped with a dynamic display. At the top of the screen, you have a status bar that will indicate your volume level and whether you have any missed calls or have any voicemails. The middle of the display will show you the time and date, as well as caller ID information when you are on a call. On the left and right side of the display are configurable buttons. The first button on the left side is the line key button. This button represents the device you are currently using. When you are not on a call, the button will not be lit up. But when you are on a call, a green LED will indicate that your line is busy. On your coworkers' phones, if they have your extension as a configured button, it will show up red, notifying them you are on the phone. The remainder of the configured buttons can be programmed for speed dials. Up to 14 speed dials can be programmed on one device. Using the bottom button on the right side of the display, you can navigate three pages of configured buttons. Pressing the desired configured key will call that individual. These buttons can also indicate presence. If there is a green LED next to their name, the other party is available. But if it is red, they are busy. You may also find that there is a park button as well as a retrieve button. Instead of placing a caller on a hold, you can park them by pressing the key labeled park. If you wish to go back to that caller you parked, simply press the retrieve button and you have your caller back. It is important to note that a parked caller can be retrieved by any device in the building as long as there is a park and retrieve button programmed on that device. At the bottom of the display there are four keys. These keys are referred to as soft keys. The keys change depending on what is going on with the phone at that time. For example, if you are on a call, they'll say one thing, but when you are not using your device, they'll say something else. When you are not on a call, the soft keys will show history, directory, D&D, &D, and menu. The history key will bring up the device's call history. If you have missed calls, this is where you would go to get that information. The directory key is where you will access your personal directory. The D&D button is your do not disturb. You would use this if you did not want to receive any calls at that time. When D&D is active, it will appear in your status bar at the top of your display. During the time D&D &D is turned on, your phone will not ring, and any incoming calls would be directed to your voicemail. This will not inhibit your ability to make calls. The menu button is used to access the device's menu options. To mute yourself while on a call, press the mute button. When mute is engaged, it will have a red light behind it. To turn it off, press the mute button again. When mute is turned on, you can still hear the other party, but they cannot hear you. To switch to your headset, press the headset button. To turn it off, press it again. It is important to note that if you wish to use a headset, you may need an adapter to have full function of the device. Speak with your Great Plains communications technician and they will gladly assist you with this. To access your voicemail, press the voicemail button and follow the prompts. The first time you press this button, it will ask for your temporary PIN, which will be provided to you by your Great Plains Communications Technician. Once you have entered the temporary PIN, it will prompt you to enter in a new PIN. When you receive a voicemail, you will be notified with a flashing red LED at the top right of the device. The symbol for voicemail will also appear in the status bar. The next button is the redial button. By pressing this button, it will bring up call history. Press it again and it will call your last number dialed, or use the directional pad to navigate the list. If you wish to talk to your caller using the speaker, press the speaker button. To turn it off, press the speaker button again. To adjust the volume of your ring, press the plus or minus on the volume button, plus being louder and minus being quieter. If you pick up the handset and use the volume button, you can now change the volume on your handset. The same concept applies to your speaker volume. If you press the speaker button, you can then use the volume button to select your desired volume. To make a call, you can press the headset, speaker, or lift the handset. 
Then dial the number you wish to call. There is no need to dial a 1 or 9 to make your call. Once you have dialed your number, you can press the soft key that reads send or wait for the call to start. When receiving a call, your phone will ring, caller ID information will appear in the middle of the screen, and your line key will flash. To answer, you can lift the handset, press the headset button, or press the speaker button. When transferring a call, there are three ways to do it. One way is to do an announced transfer. To perform an announced transfer, press the transfer soft key. This puts your caller on hold. Then enter the phone number, extension number, or select the appropriate configured button. Stay on the line and wait for the third party to pick up. Once they answer, you can speak with them privately. If they accept the call, press the soft key transfer or hang up the handset. The caller is now with your third party. If the third party declines the call, press the soft key labeled end call. Your caller is on hold, so you must select resume call and now you have the caller back. The next option to transfer is known as a blind transfer. To perform a blind transfer, press the transfer soft key, then enter the phone number, extension, or select a configured button. Then the soft key labeled B transfer, or hang up the handset. You have now sent your caller to the third party. The last option is transfer to voicemail. To transfer a caller to a third party's voicemail, press the transfer soft key, then press star 91, followed by the extension number or the appropriate configured button. Then hit the soft key B, transfer, or hang up the handset. This directs the caller to the third party's extension voicemail and does not ring the extension's device. If you are on a call and want to bring a third party into the call with you, press the conference soft key. Then enter the phone number, extension number, or press the appropriate configured key. The first party will remain on hold while the third party rings. When they answer, you can speak with them privately and see if they can help with the call. If so, press the conference soft key. This will bridge in both parties together. If you hang up the conference call, the other two parties will be transferred to one another. This concludes our training for the basic features and functions of the EA-Link phone. If you have any questions about your device or phone system, please reach out to our Great Plains communications team. We will be happy to assist you as you transition into your new device.